So, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to solve on this literal equation uh, for B. So, what we're going to do, guys, is, you know, one thing you guys got to remember, when we're simplifying, remember, we're trying to simplify, you guys remember PEMDAS, right? B, B, M, O. All right? Where P means you always do what's inside the parentheses first. Then you do um, everything exponents. Then you do multiplication, division, left to right, addition, and subtraction, left to right, right? You guys all remember that. Okay. Well, when we're solving equations, what we do is we're going to actually follow the rules of reverse PEMDAS. All right? Now, so that means we always undo addition and subtraction first, right? You undo the operation. So a lot of you would say, well, if we're solving for B, we got to undo addition of C, right? But notice that it's inside the parentheses. So that's actually now going to come last. Okay? So when you're solving equations, think about doing reverse parentheses or reverse PEMDAS. You're actually going to solve this in the parentheses last. All right? So the next thing is, so there's no other addition or subtraction outside the parentheses. But now I have multiplication of a 1 half and multiplication of an h times my variable. So I need to undo that. All right? Now, there's a lot of ways I can represent this 1 half. All right, uh, I'm just going to leave it this way. And let's say we just wanted to get rid of the so get rid of the one half. If I'm multiplied by one half, that means I have to divide by one half. But one half is a fraction, so instead of dividing by one half, we like to multiply by the typical reciprocal. Reciprocal, right? So the reciprocal of one half is what? Two, two, two over one, right? Mm -hmm. But remember, a number times its reciprocal equals one. So these are actually going to cancel out with each other, right? So when you multiply by the circle, whatever you multiply on the right side, you have to multiply on the left side. And I'm just going to write it as a, you know, as a fraction, but guys, you really know that 2 over 1 is the same thing as 2, right? No. You don't know that? Yes. 2 divided by 1, how many times is 1 going to 2? 2. Right. two. Right. So you didn't know it? Now you do know it. And you will never forget it either. That's a cool thing. Alright. So, let's just multiply this by 2. So now I have 2a equals h times b plus c. Now I have to undo multiplication by of h. So to undo multiplication, I need to divide. So now I have 2a over h equals b plus c. And since it's just b plus c, I can get rid of my parentheses. So now, now what I can do is, now I'm inside my parentheses, now I can go back to working. Well, what do I need to undo to that's happened to my B? Since my B is being added by a negative C, I need to subtract a C on both sides. All right? Or I can write it below, it doesn't matter. <coughs> Therefore, my final answer is 2A divided by H minus C equals B. Alright, so to solve for this problem, just make sure, guys, when you're following through that, that you just do reverse PEMDAS. If you have like a fraction up there, um, if you have a fraction, a fraction or something in parentheses, you might want to simplify it first, or just make sure you follow the rules and you'll be fine. Okay?